Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at people who suddenly realized, so yeah, let's just get right into the video. I met a bubbly girl in one of my classes who seemed nice, very chatty. She was complaining about her aunt who wanted her to stop doing something. It went something like, my aunt doesn't understand how tough breakups are. So true. It's normal to want to know what your ex is doing. Yeah, I think a lot of people have been there. He and I still talk. Oh, that's nice. He keeps telling me to stay away from his new girlfriend who he's just using to make me jealous. Oh, he's been playing hard to get for a year now. I'm so sick of these ups and downs. Okay, our relationship was the best two weeks of my life and he keeps pretending it never happened. Turns out her aunt was telling her to stop driving past his house at night. <gasps> so she's just a delulu. Hmm. Nobody is dating someone else to make you jealous. Okay, I just gotta tell you that. You're just being delulu. My friend was telling me about him wanting to get revenge on his ex after they broke up due to cheating. He didn't actually do anything, but he told me about how he wanted to egg her car or house or something, mess with her new boyfriend, etc. I thought that in itself was a bit assholey to start with, but I thought everyone sucked since she cheated on him. About halfway through, he drops the knowledge that he was the one that cheated. So like, how's it even word it? Yeah, we broke up due to cheating. Ah, uh, obviously you think the person telling you would not be the one cheating, right? Honestly, a revenge or whatever is just not worth it. Like, stop wasting your time doing stupid things, honestly. Just the other day, I explained to a customer how my father-in-law had to dredge out his pond. So he caught as many of his bass and bluegills and took buckets of fish to other pond owners in the area rather than killing them during dredging. The other guys were very happy about the new stock and would let us fish the ponds after that. Well, the customer then says he knows the area but doesn't like the people because they don't let him fish. I asked if he got permission and he said, will, no. Now, if you're like me, you're thinking this is when I find this guy an asshole. He goes on to tell me that he backed his truck up so the bed was in the water and used a net to fill the bed of truck with fish. He wonders why he gets chased off and people holler at him. I'm wondering why nobody shot him. Oh, damn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, this isn't even, uh, this guy's an asshole. This is, I want him dead. My grandmother was a real piece of shit of a person. Her favorite story to tell was of when she was a little girl. Her best friend in the whole world got the most beautiful porcelain doll for her birthday. The doll had long shiny blonde hair and eyes so blue they were like glaciers. My grandmother really wanted to play with the doll, but it was porcelain and her friend wouldn't let her play with it. Instead, she put it in her glass doll cabinet to keep her safe. Well, this made my grandmother so furious she was shaking. At this point in the story, my grandmother's eyes would just light up with glee and she would just laugh and giggle as she told the rest of the story, like it was the funniest thing in the world. So my grandmother waited until her best friend fell asleep and she quietly took the doll out of the glass cabinet. She snuck outside into the woods behind the houses and dug a hole and threw the doll in it, smashed the doll's pretty porcelain face and buried her. Then she went back to her friend's house, climbed back in bed and went to sleep. My grandmother was so proud that she never did tell her friend what happened to the doll. She said if she couldn't play with the doll, then her friend couldn't either. I first heard this story as a little girl and even then I thought my grandmother was a piece of shit. She told this story over and over until she died, like it was some badge of honor she was proud of. Yeah, your grandmother's a psycho. <laughs> Seriously, who the hell does that? <laughs> as a kid, you would take someone else's doll and dig a hole for it and bury it. Oh, psycho behavior. Mm. Narcissistic too. Guy is devastated because his wife took the kids and left him, basically begging her to come back. She went to a homeless shelter, which made me feel weird. So I asked why she would feel the need to leave to a homeless shelter. I said, well, what was the reason she gave? That's when it came out that he was an alcoholic and had been spending all the money on cab rides, booze and cigarettes and that he had been verbally abusive and once physically. But he thought she was just as fault because she bought organic peanut butter. I was like, man, I'm not going to tell you how to get her back. You're just sorry that you lost her. Not for anything you've done. What? So he didn't like that she bought peanut butter that's organic because he could have used that money to buy like cigarettes and booze. Crazy. Oh, these kind of people pathetic. A guy was bragging about how he managed to get free food from a diner. He specifically went to one where you take the receipt to the cashier up front. Dude lied saying he left his wallet in his car, left the diner a fake car key with a fake ID, caught an Uber and went home. In my head I was like this asshole. He was bragging about stealing. Yeah if anyone brags about committing a crime, <laughs> yeah 
Obviously, they're the asshole. I had a friend who I thought I knew fairly well. I was excited when we first met because we were similar in a lot of ways. One day, she texted me and told me to report this guy on Instagram and says he's a huge asshole. Not wanting to pry for details, wanting to be a supportive friend and believing she was a sensible girl like myself, I immediately blocked him. I was thinking he harassed her. Then she told me the story over dinner one night. She found him on Tinder slash Bumble, stalked all of his social media profiles and his families, went through his photos, thought about it for five days and then finally sent him a message about skiing because she found a couple photos of him skiing on his Facebook. He unmatched with her because it was weird she would know he went skiing in Colorado with his sister. She then goes to his social media and sends him a whole rant about how horrible he is and he's stuck up, thinks he can do whatever he wants because he's hot, etc. As she told me this story, my mouth was on the ground. She was the psycho girl from Tinder you hear about from your friends. I instantly felt bad that I reported him as spam, though it probably didn't do anything anyways. Well, I don't know if she created a new profile or they just matched again, but they matched again a couple weeks later. She sent a super creepy message about how she's back and remember me. <laughs> After that part, I began to drift from her. Clearly, she was not the one I would want to go to for romance advice. <laughs> Dude, this girl is cray cray. Remember me? <laughs> oh my gosh, like the horror movies. Do you remember what you did to me? Girl complaining that her ex-husband was paranoid about the idea of her having a crush on this other guy while they were still married. But then later revealed she did indeed have a crush on that guy and started dating him immediately after telling her husband she was going to file for divorce. It was a weird conversation. She was saying it in the can you believe my ex-husband accused me of that kind of way. And I'm just sitting there like but you just told me he was right. That you had been checking the other guy out before your husband even said anything. I was confused what this girl was trying to accomplish in this conversation. Bro. Bro, I can't believe you're accusing me of being a liar, but I did lie, but I can't believe you're accusing me. <laughs> Come on now. You don't trust me. Like I did cheat on you, but I can't believe you don't trust me. You know those kind of people? Underage girl from work was bragging about how she noticed a restaurant wasn't carting, so she ordered drinks, drank them, and reported the waiter to the manager on the way out for allowing it. Oh, jeez. <sighs> this is some asshole behavior. Wow, I feel so bad for the waiter, man. He probably got fired because of that. My mom had a rough divorce from my dad that stayed with her mentally for years. Told a story about how she noticed a car in front of her on a long, narrow road and was trying to get away from her. I thought, oh no, how can you tell a car in front of you is trying to get away from you unless you're following them? But I let her continue. Mom's talking about how she's trying to drive closer just because she's curious who the other driver is, not because she's following her. Nope. Say she loses the car but for whatever reason needs to pull over and decides to pull over behind the only grocery store in town, you know, like a normal person totally does. And surprise, there's the car. Mum was so surprised that it was dad's new wife and that she had the nerve to accuse my mum of following or stalking her. I let her finish and calmly told her that I of course totally believe her and that I understood that she accidentally chased someone down for miles but to never ever 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 tell that story to anyone else. <laughs> what the hell? Yes, I was just stalking this car randomly and like, you know, for no reason because I don't know why, like just instincts, right? And then I parked behind them and guess who it was? The dad's new wife. Like what a freaking coincidence, right? How crazy. <laughs> well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.